Imagine for a moment that uh, a friend of yours collects uh, rare coins, and you have the view that those coins are going to go down in value. So the way you would short those coins is you call up your friend and say, can I borrow a few of your coins? And he says, sure, uh, and you borrow the coins. You then sell them for the $1,000 each that they sell for in the market at the time, and then you wait for them to drop in value, and you turned out to be right, and the coins dropped in value to $500. You go back into the market, you buy them back for $500. You've sold them for $1,000. You've repurchased them for $500. You've made $500 on each coin, and then you return the coins to your friend. Your, your friend is in the same place he was when he started, and he has the same coins that he started with. You might have to actually pay him something for borrowing the coins because you, he loaned them to you. So you might pay him an interest rate. So he's happy because he's made an interest rate. He's made interest lending you the coins. You've made money uh, profiting from the decline in the value of the coins, and that's short selling. That's when it works. But if you sell it at a high price and it goes higher, and it can go infinitely higher because the stock can go infinitely higher, then you're on the hook for that. So this is why it takes big cojones to short stocks, especially something as public uh, and as big as, as Herbalife.